G'day everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you about Vimix Desktop Capture for NDI. It's a free application for PC and Mac that you can use to send the desktop of a local computer to any NDI compatible device on the network, including its audio. This means you can do things like send full screen game capture at up to 60 frames per second on Windows 8.1 and 10 PCs, capture any software including PowerPoint with full support for transition and other motion effects, and you can send the audio from your computer. Firstly, you'll need to download the application from the vMix website. There's a link in the description below. Once you've run the installer, you'll be able to get started. So you'll need to open up vMix Desktop Capture for NDI and then go to the Settings section. Now once you're in the Settings section, you'll be able to see all the different options that you can set up for your vMix Desktop Capture for NDI. Okay, so up the top, you can choose to show the cursor or not when you send the desktop of your computer. So you can tick or untick that. And now for audio source, you can use the drop down menu to see all the different options. You can choose silence, loopback, this microphone that we're using, um, or any other uh, audio inputs that you have. We're going to select loopback. Now this will send the system audio of the computer. I'm going to be playing a game, so I want to be able to send all the audio from that. So I'm going to select loopback. Okay, now maximum frame rate. Ideally, you want to match the frame rate of your video production. So I'm running a vMix production later on, so I'm going to be using 29.97, which will match my settings. If you were only sending games, for example, um, you could use 60 frames per second, or if you were using something static like a PowerPoint presentation and you had a bad network connection, you could use something like five frames per second. But I'm gonna select 29.97 because that's going to match my vMix production. Then you can choose to minimize this on startup. So once you've selected your settings, you can click OK. Now your desktop is going to be available to any other NDI compatible devices on your network. So I'm going to show you how to use this with your vMix production now. Okay, for those that aren't using vMix, you'll now be able to see the vMix desktop capture for NDI app as a source in your NDI device. For vMix users, we can now add the desktop capture to our production. So go to add input and then go to NDI slash desktop capture. Now it's important to note that if you're trying to capture the local desktop of your vMix production computer, you'll need to select local desktop capture as NDI is meant for networked computers. So as you can see here, I've got my Alienware laptop available as an NDI source, and someone's probably poorly playing Rocket League on it. So if we want to be able to bring that into our production, we just need to select display one, and that will bring in the desktop capture of my laptop. So we'll select it and we'll click OK. So as you can see, Someone is playing Rocket League on it, and so we can bring that into our production. And we've, just to show that the audio is working, I can bring the audio in as well. So there you have it. That's how you can simply bring in a NDI desktop capture into your vMix production. If you have any further questions or comments, please leave them below.